Hi everybody, welcome to Math Lesson 8. You'll notice that the format of this lesson is a little bit different, but just like in the past, we're going to start off our math lesson with some fluency practice. And we're going to practice dividing by sevens today. So you'll notice that at the top of the screen, I've written out a skip count by sevens from seven to 70. And I'd like you to say the skip count with me out loud. Ready? One, two, one, two, three, seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. Just like with multiplication, skip counting can also help you uh, solve division problems. So for instance, let's say you had the division problem 35 divided by 7. 35 divided by 7. You can use the skip count to notice that 35 is in the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th position in this uh, skip count line. So 35 divided by 7 is 5. All right, so what we're going to do now is just like in past lessons, I'm going to flash a flashcard up on the screen and you're going to, I'll give you a pause and wait a second before I say the answer. I'd like you to say the answer before me. If you need to uh, rewind and restart the video, uh, please do so until you can beat me every time. All right, here we go. Nine. Four, one, ten, eight, three, eight, six, five, six. Two. All right, the objective of our lesson today is to be able to compare fractions by turning related fractions into like fractions by using multiplication and division. Related fraction is a fraction where the bigger, the deno bigger denominator is a multiple of the smaller denominator. So for instance, I have the fractions 4 fifths and 6 tenths. Well, 10 is a multiple of 5. So uh, you'll notice that 5 times 2 makes 10. So those fractions are related to each other. A like fraction is a fraction where the denominators are the same. So 8 tenths and 6 tenths, because both denominators are 10. Let's say I wanted to compare 3 fourths and 7 eighths. I know that these two fractions are related to each other because 8 is a multiple of 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. So one way I can compare these two fractions is by turning the related fraction of 3 fourths into a like fraction. And I can do that by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by 2. 3 times 2 is 6, and 4 times 2 is 8. So I've created an equivalent fraction to 3 fourths, and that fraction is 6 eighths, and 6 eighths is also a like fraction to 7 eighths. Well, I can compare 6 eighths and 7 eighths, and I notice that the denominators of 6 eighths and 7 eighths are the same, so the fraction with a larger numerator is going to be the larger fraction, and that's 7 eighths. Well, since 3 fourths and 6 eighths are equal, I know that 7 eighths is also larger than 3 fourths. So I'd like you to compare one-third and four-ninths. And this one I'd like you to try on your own. 
So pause the video, and when you're done doing this work, uh, start the video again and check your work. Uh, if you don't have a pencil and a paper, you can go ahead and pause and go grab those things now. Go ahead and pause the video now. I can use multiplication to compare one third to four ninths. And I can do so by converting uh, one third into a like fraction to four ninths. I notice that one third is a related fraction to four ninths because uh, nine is a multiple of three. I can multiply three times three to get nine. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply both the numerator and the denominator of one third by three. And I'm going to notice that one times three is three, and three times three is nine. Excuse me, nine, there we go. One third is equal to three ninths. And three ninths is also a like fraction to four ninths. So I can compare four ninths to three ninths and the denominators are both the same, so the larger numerator means the larger fraction. Four ninths is larger than three ninths. And because three ninths is equal to one third, I know that four ninths is also larger than one third. You can also use division to turn related fractions into like fractions. So if I want to compare 2 eighths and 3 fourths, I can use division to compare these two fractions because they are related fractions. And I can use division to turn uh, the fraction 2 eighths into a like fraction to 3 fourths. You'll notice that uh, these are related fractions because uh, 8 is a multiple of 4. And if I uh, multiply 4 times 2, I get 8. Likewise, if I divide 8 by 2, I get 4. So let's take the fraction 2 eighths, and we will divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2. 2 divided by 2 gives, gives me 1. 8 divided by 2 gives me 4. four. So 2 eighths is equivalent or equal to 1 fourth and one-fourth is a like fraction to three-fourths. So I can compare three-fourths to one-fourth and notice that three-fourths is greater than one-fourth. Well, since two-eighths is equivalent to one-fourth, two-eighths is also less than three-fourths. Three-fourths is also greater than two-eighths. So I want you to pause the video and try this one on your own. Use division to compare the related fractions 4 twelfths and 3 sixths. And when you're done, start the video again to check your work. Go ahead and pause now. If I wanted to compare 4 twelfths and 3 sixths, I could notice that these are related fractions because 12 is a multiple of 6. And I'm going to go ahead and use division to turn these related fractions into like fractions. And I'm going to notice that if I divide 12 by 2, it will turn in, it will give me 6. So I'm going to divide both the numerator and the denominator of 4 twelfths by 2. And that will give me 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. 4 twelfths is equal to 2 sixths, an equivalent fraction. And it is also a like fraction to 3 sixths, because the denominators of both fractions are the same. And when the denominators of both fractions are the same, the fraction with the biggest numerator is the biggest fraction. So 3 sixths is bigger than 2 sixths. 
And because 2 sixths is equal to 4 twelfths, I know that 3 sixths is also bigger than 4 twelfths. All right, your exit ticket. Your exit ticket is to use multiplication to compare 2 sixths and 1 third. Also, use division to compare 4 tenths and 1 fifths. And it's cut off down here a little bit on the bottom of the screen, but what you should be reading is to make sure you're using words and numbers to explain your answer. You can go ahead and upload your exit ticket uh, to Schoology, or you can send me a picture of it in an email, or take a picture of it and send it to me in a text. All right, great to see you. I'll see you next time.